Well, hello. Um, this is the second video of the day, and I'm kind of going back to the first video that I created uh, during the day. And, and basically, it's just to show a couple of modifications that I did and to continue the conversation about the entire wave system that we're including in our uh, tower defense game. So, if you remember, uh, I added a couple of things, including, let's just start here, the waves created, the waves per level, enemies destroyed, those are global variables that I'm using to be able to calculate how many waves per level I want to uh, have, and then to go to another level. So, if you don't remember that, this is the first level that we had right now, uh, and then I just poorly copy and paste this uh, second level that we had here. You see that it's a little bit different. Uh, I modified it and, and basically the entire thing that I was adding at the end of our game was uh, this uh, these two events. So well, in the previous video I also kind of like showed how to uh, start a uh, wave manually. And after that I say like, hey, if we are going to uh, have let's say two waves per level I can figure out when I'm creating a new wave and then figure out uh, that I can go to the next level so the other thing that I added is that it would be great to um, count how many enemies I have destroyed and in the original uh, solution that I gave I was counting up to five so I had to uh, wait for two waves and then destroy five enemies to be able to go to the next level. Um, one thing that I made a little bit of a mistake was to uh, have this action uh, add to the waves created here at the beginning of the creation of the waves. But it turns out that this event is going to be called every single time that I'm going to add one new enemy to the wave. So only here at the else is that I know that I've created enough uh, enemies for that wave so this is where I should really have the number of waves created so this wor works much better and the second thing is that um, really I was not adding this condition that is that I haven't created enough waves so I added that basically to almost all the uh, events that I that I had at the end almost every single time that I'm creating a new enemy I am adding this condition and then it works much better now why because now it's going to create that number of waves and that's it it's not going to create any more enemies and now you have a full control of your enemies and you know exactly how many enemies you are going to create the other thing is that um, I disabled this this action this condition I'm sorry and uh, re-enable the original one that I wanted and in the previous video it didn't work because I have another condition here another event that it was asking if uh, I ha I didn't have any enemies and and create a new one so that meant that when I destroyed an enemy I am creating a new one always always so it was never going to be able to reach this event and it was never going to go to the second level but now I am checking this and to create new enemies only if I haven't created enough enough waves so let's suppose that I am at uh, the third wave out of 10 and I destroyed all the enemies then this one is going to speed up the creation of the wave but after I create the entire 10 waves this is not going to happen because of this condition so uh, that means that this is the kind of game that we're going to have. These three enemies that are there are destroyed and you see that I'm counting here how many I have destroyed but that's not what I'm really going to pay attention to and this is the first wave and I'm going to create more towers to be able to destroy all the enemies. This is the second wave I don't want to create any more waves so even if I try to start waves manually nothing happens and I am not able to move to the next level until I don't destroy all the enemies. So just to be able to do that, 
going to add this and that's it and now we jump to second level so that's that's much better um, like I said I have to create a new uh, a new um, file to be able to share all this with you so you can have the chance to detect uh, well to read and analyze whatever I'm doing and that's it so the other thing that I'm going to point is that uh, I don't know if you saw but immediately after I finish this after I'm able to destroy all the enemies um, I do have a problem and is that uh, I, I, I don't really have anything that tells me that I'm going to the next level. It immediately jumps and starts and, and that's it. So it's not exactly the best solution ever. You see? That's a flickering. So what I'm going to do is another... It's going to, to go to another screen. So I'm going to create a new layout. Add layout. I'm going to add with a, its own event sheet. And this one I'm going to call it... Uh, in between or a score 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 screen that's it um, so the only thing that I'm going to do here is just to tell the player you finish the level the level and something like a little more upbeat and I'm going to put something here, your score. But, uh, right now we are not keeping track of the score. But uh, you see what I... And I'm going to add something like start a new level. So this is going to be an intermediate uh, screen so it does not flicker and uh, or it flickers but at least it's going to do it in a better way something like this and uh, uh, in the event sheet instead of going to level 2 I'm going to copy this and I'm going to disable it I am going to go to score screen okay uh, with that I can add to this second event sheet and this is going to be called new level and here I am going to say whenever I touch uh, touch object this new level text then actually go to the second level so I'm going to copy this one. Yes, I'm that lazy. I'm not going to even copy it. Disable. So now instead of just jumping from this to this, it's going to jump from this then to this. That's we're going to use it also to display the the, the level that well the score that we have, and then it's going to start this one. So I think it it works much better. Now. Um, I don't remember exactly the background color of this one, so let's see. Uh, 247, 255, 255. So I'm going to try to put the same uh, background. Something like this. No. Okay, well, then I'll do it manually. 247, 255, 255. Something like that. So we have exactly the same tone. So let's start again. So I'm going to create enough towers to be able to destroy all the enemies. Now we have this. We I'm going to show in another video how to do like a fade out uh, event or something like that, so it looks even a little bit better. And then we go to our new we go to our new um, level and then we can move it whatever I want you see that it works a little bit better I also noticed that at some point uh, 
it has a little bit of problems like with the second level there with this it's not really taking the new path but well I guess I could eliminate that new something like this and uh, well that's pretty much it um, so uh, this one was a short video it was just to complement a little bit what I did before and um, to show a little bit how you could improve it and how you could do like a better job at what we have right now so I am going to send to save this this version of the game and then I'm going to start uh, uploading some of these versions and in the next video I'm going to show you where I uh, well, where you can download them and so you can use them I hope you like them and let me know what you think